Greetings and welcome to Nathan Nile Official. If you have never seen my face in a video before, my name is Nathan Nile, and this is my personal channel where I post vlogs, reviews, and anything else that happens to catch my fancy at the time. Right now, I'm going to be discussing an anime which I've just finished watching recently called Burst Angel. The first thing I'm going to say about this anime is that it's not a bad anime, but I did not like it. And there are a very specific reason why I did not like it, and it wasn't because it was poor quality. It's very well done, it's good animation, it's a pretty decent storyline. You know, it's, it's not like it's an awful show. I just personally did not enjoy it. The main reason for that being just because uh, it's, I hate it when you have an anime show that's like two different things and it feels like half of the show is this and then the other half of the show is this and that's what, the, that's what I got while watching this. The show begins with, you know, you have one guy who, he's a culinary student and he ends up getting a job working for a group of mercenaries as their cook. You know, he's trying to save up money so that he can go to Paris. So the first half of the show kind of focuses on him as the main character and it kind of has this harem feel and it's very comedic. And it's pretty funny, good, lots of good action, it's very well done. But then later on, as the series goes on, you see him less and less. He ends up, like in the later episodes, he basically, he makes a few cameos and then that's it. Like, he'll show up once an episode in, like, a little five-second scene just long enough for you to be like, Hey, it wasn't that guy in, in there earlier. Oh, yeah, that's the cook. And then he's gone. And the, show, the story, so halfway through, it shifts to focus on Joe and her backstory, figuring out who she is and, like, why she is. And I personally think, like I said, it's a very well-made anime, and I can understand why other people enjoy it. But for me personally, I just I just don't like when they do that to us. Like they set it up as if it's gonna be this, but then out of the blue, it kind of turns into this. I hate watching the show and feeling like the people who made it had, didn't really have this all planned out. They were just figuring it out as they went along, and you see it slowly turn from one thing to another. That's just me though. I, I don't. I'm not gonna tell you that it's not worth checking out because, like I said, it's very well made, very well put together. I just didn't like the way that the story ended up being told, the way that events unfolded as they traveled along. But even though I did not personally enjoy the anime, I still think it is well enough done that I don't mind telling you about it. You know, and if you're willing to go check it out, then be my guest. I'm not going to shy you away from it. But if you ask me, like, what's one of some of your favorite anime that you like to watch, this is not going to be one of the ones that pop into my head. So yeah, that's my quickie review for Burst Angel. If you've seen this anime before, leave a comment down below telling me whether or not you liked it. And you'll recommend any other anime that you'd like to see me talk about. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that other bullshit. And until the next time you see my face in the video, my name is Nathan Lyle. I hope you have a good day.